Hello everyone, welcome back. So today in this video, inside the part of the data protection, we are trying to learn about the DLP. So DLP normally here means the data loss prevention. And so while preventing the data loss, there are two different environments that the DLP system normally works with. So normally DLP systems that can help organization to enforce the information handling policies and procedures to prevent the data loss and the theft. As you already know, the protection of data is the major concern in today's cybersecurity world because the cybersecurity world is the virtual world and also known as the untrusted world. So data loss prevention system normally work in the two different environments. So we will explore one by one. The first one is the host-based environment and the second one is the network-based environment. Okay, And we will try to explain and understand how these two different environments, the host-based and the network-based, differ when considering the security of data or when we are trying to avoid the sensitive information over the internet when that data can be the stolen or compromised, which is a serious concern today in cybersecurity. So the first one, the first one is the host-based DLP, also known as the host-based data loss prevention, and normally use that uses the software agent installed on the systems that source those system for the presence of the sensitive info. So though these software agents, they source the presence of sensitive info. So we normally say the presence of the sensitive information or sensitive info, they, they are presented over there. Exactly mean the sensitive info or the sensitive information that will source for the presence of the sensitive information like the social security numbers, credit card numbers, and other sensitive information trying to find and they often turn up in the most unlikely places. Yeah, some others mean some some other information like your DL number, yeah, the driving license number, or your passport number. Yeah, those are the very sensitive information, and the attackers might use them for their own benefit, or or the bad guys can use. So detecting those, the presence of the stored sensitive information allows security professionals to take prompt action. Yeah. So what, what prompt actions? So either they will remove it or, or secure it with encryption, which is the another part. So when they detect those sensitive information, yeah, like this sensitive information, they allow us to take the actions. That means the taking action is either removing it, those information, or secure it via encryption. So there are several methods of encryption. How can the information can be secured with the help of the encryption or normally we normally say for now, let us understand the encryption means changing of the plain text to the cipher text. Yeah. So in our next video, we will go all a more on the encryption and the decryption concept. For just now, please understand the encryption means changing whatever is in the plain text, changing to the to the cipher text or or we say the scramble text that can cannot be understood by others. And also monitor the system configuration and the user actions in the sense that so taking the time to secure or remove the information now we have to pay the handsome rewards down the roads if the device is stolen or compromised so host based tlp or the host based data loss prevention can also monitor system configuration and user action blocking those undesirable actions so normally the user action in the sense that block the or filter the, the undesirable actions. That means if some organization use host-based DLP to block users from accessing the USB-based removable media, yeah, that might use to carry the information because of the, the organization security, you already know, because they block the USB or, or the USB removable media, yeah. So blocking those media, thinking of the organization secure environment or the security. So see here exactly is the example. So some organization or the, some business firm use this to block users from accessing the USB media, universal serial bus, the USB ports, or we normally say the pen drives or the USB drives. The second very important is the network based DLP. That means the systems that are dedicated devices that sit on the network and monitor the, the outbound network traffic. Yeah. So that means they sit on the network. That means they are on the on the top of the network, and they normally 
monitor the outbound traffic, the traffics are maybe the packets. We normally say the data packets the transferring from the host to destination. We normally say from one source to destination. And they watch for any transmission that contains the unencrypted sensitive information. That means those sensitive information, if they are unencrypted, that means if they are is in the its usual format, so they don't allow that. What does they do? They block those transmission. That means the transmission means the whatever the, the packet is going, that means from the sender ends to the to the receiver end here. Yeah. So the preventing unsecured loss of the sensitive information. The same sensitive information what we have talked over here as the social security numbers, the credit card numbers, and the driving license or the or the passport numbers. Means that means the DLP system may simply block the traffic. The DLP system simply block the traffic that violates the the organization policy or the organization rule. Or in case, in some case, they automatically apply encryption to the. So in, in some case, they automatically apply encryption to the content. That means apply encryption to the to the sensitive content. This automatic encryption, we normally say the say the auto encryption. Auto encryption is commonly used on the DLP systems that normally focus on the email yeah so you you normally know that because the email there are several attacks the email the email phishing yeah we will talk about the email phishing in the later video but they apply the auto encryption so that is commonly used that focus on the email because several organization email are are the victim of the cyber attacks i hope you understand about the two environment how the dlp system or the data loss prevention system works and thank you for watching.